All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. We start off today talking about the climate activists that were ran over by Nevada cops thinking that they are owning climate change. Now, throughout the entirety of this year and a little bit of last year, we have seen some of these climate protesters, can't even call them protesters, in actuality they are miscreants, and mostly this has been going on in Europe, in some of the European countries like the UK, France, and Germany, which is where this is, and, and the Netherlands too, that's where most of these incidents have been happening. We've seen people from groups like the Extinction Rebellion, they would do these crazy stunts where they're like cementing themselves onto the pavement. They will go out into like an art museum and they would deface it. They would spray paint it and do all this illegal activity all in an attempt to own climate change. You know, some of these climate activists think that blocking the streets and blocking the roads is a way to own climate change or to help spread awareness about climate change or breaking into an art museum and throwing paint at it or going up to a statue and tearing it down or defacing the statue in some of these people's minds that's how you own climate change instead of you know planting trees or picking up garbage from the park there's literally a list of things you can do to help the environment, you know? ChatGPT literally gave me a list of like 16 things of what we can do as a way to solve climate change. But some of these people who are protesting climate change are just fucking nuts. Somehow defacing art and blocking streets and cementing yourself on buildings is a way to solve this existential crisis that we call climate change. A lot of the methods that some of these climate activists do are just outright ridiculous and you're not actually really solving any problems when you really think about it. You're breaking the law, number one, and number two, you are acting like a complete and total dumbass in the process. But some of these European countries have seen an influx of these situations happening. And there is a whole bunch of videos, people like Ian Miles Chong would post them on Twitter, aka X, of these same people doing these kinds of things in an attempt to own climate change. Now, I don't necessarily recall this happening in the United States until just now since this video came out. So, link in the description archived, of course. Climate protesters in Nevada were blocking a street while the annual Burning Man was going on in Nevada. So Burning Man was going on while this other situation was going on. I don't really need to explain to you guys what Burning Man is. It is this annual event that takes place in Nevada where they take like this wooden structure or any wooden structures, usually a man, and then they light it on fire and then they dance around it or something like that. I never really been to or experienced Burning Man as I am not a hippie since uh, hippie trippy dudes are the ones that go to these types of events. Anyway, so Burning Man was going on in Nevada and some of these climate activists thought it was a great idea to choose Burning Man as like their next location for their next stupid thing that they're going to do. Some of these activists decided that that was the ideal place to protest. So they all went to Nevada and what they did was they blocked the road to the event with signs. Now, thankfully, nobody was stupid enough to cement themselves on the road at least. So these protesters, just like what we've seen happen in Europe, blocked the road to the event and blocked off the traffic flow of this road in Nevada and a lot of people got frustrated with them blocking the road like any other ordinary normal person would do in this situation. Like if I saw a climate activist or multiple climate activists blocking the road and stopping traffic from going through, I'd honk my horn and tell them to get the fuck off the road. Yes, I understand what you're trying to tell us. But please, do not do this, do not act like this, stop doing this, or else we will run you over. You're acting like a bunch of fools. That's what some of these people were saying, and I'm not so sure if any of these people were, I guess, going to the event, or these people are just normal people and whatnot. I think it's a combination of both. So the police were summoned and were aware of what was going on considering that there was an event going on, and most events nowadays have cops anyway. 
So they were already aware of what's going on, and they did not like what these protesters and activists were doing, considering that these activists were doing illegal shit and violating the law by blocking the road and the flow of traffic. So what ended up happening was the cops go to the area or go to the road where the protesters were protesting and blocking the road and it ultimately led to this following clip which I'm going to show you right here. So, as you saw right there, the Nevada Rangers, which are the name given to, I guess, the state troopers of Nevada. So, the Nevada Rangers went in and they bulldozed through the protesters who are supposedly owning climate change by blocking a road. And of course, this was a very controversial video. The left toys were really quick to respond and attack these cops for running over these protesters. Hashtag ACAB. How dare these awful cops run over these poor, peaceful protesters? Well, let me tell you something. When you want to protest and spread awareness about climate change, you do not block roads, you don't cement yourself on the sidewalks, or on streets, you don't cement yourself on buildings, or super glue yourself on a statue, or deface works of art, spray paint buildings, and commit acts of vandalism to own climate change. These people really think they're owning climate change just by blocking the road of traffic. I've seen videos of these protesters cementing themselves on the road and blocking roads thinking that that's how they're gonna own climate change or get their message around. When in reality, that is the exact opposite. Not to mention, some of the people protesting in Nevada are open and avowed communists, based on just their sloganeering alone. But when I see these videos of these idiots blocking the road, thinking that that's how they're gonna get their message around, it wouldn't at all surprise me to see somebody get ran over because of this. And to be fair, I am not at all surprised that this happened. If you're refusing to comply with police officers, they will use force. They won't be reluctant to run you over and put you in handcuffs and arrest you for this. Now again, I fully and wholly support free speech. I support people's rights to peacefully protest. I support their rights to free speech and freedom of assembly. But at the same time, there are consequences for your actions, and that includes blocking the road. Blocking the road as a form of protest, or you know, throwing rocks, throwing molotovs in the name of racial justice, that is not protected by the First Amendment. Those are unlawful gatherings. You will get punished severely if you attempt to partake in any of these actions. Committing waves of crimes and waves of vandalism including like historical art pieces, that is not a form of protest, and that is not protesting. Like, I understand what these people are trying to do. Climate change is an issue that we need to take seriously and we need to address. Don't get me wrong, but that's not how you fucking do it. And in addition, some of the stuff that you guys are trying to propose are not viable solutions. 
You can go and plant a tree. You can advocate for recycling, reuse, reduce, recycle. Nuclear energy is also a viable solution, although I'm kind of mixed on it. But I don't necessarily think your commie shit is going to cut it. Not to mention, these two places where most of these protests happen are in the US and Europe. Why do these two countries get attacked mostly for their carbon emissions? China, by far, produces exponentially more than the US and Europe combined. They are not targeted by any climate protests. While the US and Europe are trying their very best to reduce their carbon footprint, to reduce their own carbon emissions. In fact, in the 2010s, the US and Europe are actually declining in their carbon emission numbers, and their numbers are still declining to this day. China, on the other hand, their numbers are growing and are still continuing to grow to this day. Mostly, this is due to the fact that a lot of the jobs get shipped over overseas in these poor-conditioned, poorly circulated, really environmentally devastating sweatshops filled with Muslim slave labor. Not many people like to admit this, but the reason why shit that is made in China is so dirt cheap is because of these minority groups like the Uyghur Muslims up in Xinjiang being forced to work non-stop and not being paid a single cent for it. While we're on the topic of climate change and Muslim slave labor up in West China, here's a very good solution. Why don't we completely call out China for this, end this Holocaust-like behavior going on, and bring all of those jobs right here in the US, Bring manufacturing to this country. Kill two birds with one stone, or rather, three birds with one stone. Ending slave labor in China. Carbon emissions reduce significantly. And you're bringing more jobs to this country. This sounds like a win-win situation. How come people are not advocating for that being a solution? Well, apparently... Not at all. Praising people who want us to eat bugs and live in a pod and shipping our jobs elsewhere, doing more harm to the situation than good, is apparently a viable solution. Blocking the roads and vandalizing works of art is also a viable solution and is a good way to own climate change. None of you guys really are owning climate change, especially these protesters in Nevada. You're not really doing anything to help out with the situation. I am not at all surprised that these cops almost ran you over and you guys got arrested. Hopefully you guys learn a valuable lesson from this. But I'll end the conversation down to you guys, so let me know what you think about these protesters. Did they get what they deserved? Do you think the cops acted too harshly? What are your own solutions to climate change? How differently do you think these protesters should have acted? As always, since I'm ending the conversation down to you, be sure to leave all your thoughts in the comment section down below. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the little notification bell. Be sure to follow me on all my social medias. Links are in the description below. Share this video around with your friends, families, boyfriends, girlfriends, enemies, whomever. Definitely helps me out a lot, helps the video grow, and helps grow the channel if you share this video with whomever you know. But anyways, guys, like, subscribe ring notifications, and until then, take care, talk soon, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.